What's up everybody? It's Trip with Sailing and Such. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my top five knots that you need to know. If you're planning on doing some adventures like kayak camping or just camping in general, there's some knots that are really handy to know. Knots that I use all the time, whether I'm camping or not. A good, basic, useful knot knowledge can really come in handy. So let's go over that real quick. We're going to be going over five knots. I got the bowline knot, the taut line hitch, the butterfly knot, the prussic knot, and the two half hitches knot. Okay, these are just really useful knots, really easy to tie, that I promise you're gonna find a use for on your next camping trip. The first knot I'm gonna go over is the bowline knot. Let me get this camera going so we get another angle on here for you guys so you can learn how to tie in this video. Straighten this. So I need to tie right there, center of the shot. So the first one is the bowline knot, and basically all it is is a loop that you can tie the end of a rope and it's good because it's easy to untie after it's been a load's been put on it and it doesn't shrink and it doesn't slip it's just and really easy to tie most of the times when I grab a rope the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a bowline in the end of that line because either I'm going to if I'm attaching it to something a lot of times I'll just put it through there and now I've got a good secure anchor point here a little slip knot type deal with the bowline that I can just put around whatever I'm tying to and it just works really, really well, really easy. It's just a really versatile knot. See, there's a bowline on the other side. <laughs> How do you tie it? Well, it's pretty easy. All right, you're just gonna take your rope with your free standing end and I'm gonna create a loop on top. So I'm rolling it over, spinning the rope, rolling it over, creating a loop. I'm gonna take my free end, come up through the loop around and back in the hole. Now you guys, if you've seen Jaws, they teach you how to tie this knot in there and it's a really easy way to learn, okay? So you got the loop, all right, then you got, or you have the hole, then you got the rabbit. The rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, back into the hole. Just like that, nothing to it. And you got a nice, pretty bowling knot and it's really not gonna slip on you. It's a great, great knot. Next up is the butterfly knot. The butterfly knot is just a really easy way to put a loop in the middle of a rope, which when you're securing things down can be really handy. And the good thing about it is it's a, once you make the loop and you put a load on it, it's pretty easy to untie this. You know, you're not fidgeting for 30 minutes to try and get the knot out of your rope. But it's really simple to tie, whoop, once I get it right. <laughs> but there it is, you got your butterfly knot. Now, let me show you how to do it. All right, I have my rope just in the middle of the rope anywhere. I'm going to make a twist, and I'm gonna hold that twist. Maybe get a little, little space there, make one more twist. So now I've got kind of a figure eight, okay? And I'm gonna keep that figure eight, bring the top down, and up through this first hole. Now I'll show you that again, but this is just to show you how easy it is to tie, all right? So I'm going to make a twist. Hold, hold this point here. Make another twist. Okay, so I've just got the figure eight sitting right there. Now I'm gonna take the top of my figure eight while keeping my twist as they are, bring it down all the way to the bottom and up through this first hole that we made. There you go, you've got your butterfly knot. And of course you can make as big or as small of a loop as you want. Very easy knot, very handy knot. For this next little demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and put just a screw in my little table here. Just something to tie the rope to, okay? Maybe not quite that far down. All right, the next knot, the double two half hitches, it's kinda of got a variation of names, is really useful just to tie a rope to something, like if you're gonna pull something really hard, like you're, say you're pulling a truck out of the mud or something, or you're having to pull a kayak really hard, or you're making a swing or something, where you really, you know, there's gonna be a lot of load on that rope for a long time, and you just, you want it to really be there, this is a good knot to tie. It's really simple, just wrap around whatever you're tying to twice, you're just gonna do two half hitches, which is the most easiest thing in the world to do. One, and then through this way, two. Boom, just like that. And now, no matter how hard you pull on that joker, it's really not gonna come out because it just holds itself tight. And, there's, and these are pretty easy to untie also. That's one thing I like about it because no matter how much load you put on it, you can usually still untie it with ease. 
Whatever we're tying to, wrap twice, and then two simple, uh, whatever they call it, I forgot the name of it, I just said it a minute ago. One thing you wanna pay attention to is the orientation of where the ropes are going. You can really make it look good if you tie them both where it's coming out. See how it kinda of makes that little, I don't know, pretzel look? That's a really good way to tie the knot and it makes it easy to untie it. Another simple knot that's really handy. Another one of my favorites that I used to use all the time when I was setting up my tarp and setting up my hammock is called a taut line hitch. Basically, it's where you can kind of tie to something, you can kind of cinch the rope down and just keep tightening it and tightening it. Really, really handy to know. And also, it's pretty easy to tie. One, two, back through itself like that, and you've got your taut line hitch. And it's like a sliding uh, constrictor knot. And you gotta do it with fairly small rope. I think this rope will work. Yep, see there? Boom, pull on it, and it won't budge, but I can slide it as I want, or tighten it up all that I want. Boom, constrictor knot. Oh, well, this rope may be a little too big. Let's switch to the uh, little blue rope. Someone's calling. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back. All right, let's see here. All right, so you go around whatever object, like your tent stake or whatever you're gonna go around. Okay, then you loop it over. You're gonna do two wraps around the main rope. One, two. Then you're gonna come over this rope and one more wrap in the same direction and you're done. <laughs> then just tighten it up. See how pretty that is? Tighten it up good. And there you go. See, I can pull on this, boom, 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 and it won't move, but I can just come up here and slide it to however tight or loose I want, and you've got a good constrictor knot. Boom. Very, very useful. Very cool. When you know this knot and you tie it, people are like, wow, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's a pretty awesome knot. Because a lot of people don't have a really extensive knot knowledge, and so it's, it's pretty cool when you do. All right, there you go. Great knot. The last knot I'm gonna show you might be the easiest knot and probably the coolest. All right, this is the Prusik knot. What it can be used for is to create a, a adjustable loop on another rope that whenever pressure is put on it, it holds strong. So this is such a cool knot. This is the same knot that I use on my gear hanger. Now, the way it works, you start with a loop. So I just have, you know, you can vary the size of your loop. This is about, I don't know, I'd say a uh, 11 inch loop, 12 inch loop. That's just doubled over on itself. And I tied it with a square knot to just tie it together. Very simple, just Google square knot. Really, really easy knot. To do it, it's really easy. You've got your loop, put your loop around your rope and just run it through itself. One, two, three times, and then just tighten it up to dress it up. Get your loops all straightened up. Make it pretty. Why not? And there you go. You've got your Prusik loop or cord tied to your main rope. And whenever pressure is put on this, it will not move. Up or down, won't move. But when you touch it and try to slide it, you can slide it as much as you want. Put pressure on it. It's holding fast, both directions, slide it, slide it at will. People, these are great, great knots that are really easy to learn. I don't know a whole lot of knots. I mean, I have a decent knowledge because, you know, I started out sailing and stuff and then I, you know, learned hammocks and things like that and through the, you know, over the years I've learned knots and these are just some really, really good ones that are so simple to tie, so easy to learn and easy to remember and I promise you, you can find uses for them. And once you know these knots and you know what they can do, you'll, you'll think like, oh my goodness, I could have been using the Prusik knot for this task that I do all the time, all these years. So I hope you enjoyed these knots. You know, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. People have kind of been asking about, have it to you folks. So I wanted to do this for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really did take the time to learn these knots 
and put them to memory and then to use them while you're out there, okay? Because it's all about getting out there. So that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to get out there and I want it to be easy for you. All right, so take care of yourselves. Learn some knots, baby. <laughs> if you haven't already, subscribe to Sailing and Such and check out my other adventures. My adventures are really the bread and butter of Sailing and Such. Check those out. They're too much fun, too much fun. All right, see you on the next video or adventure. Take care and God bless. I hope it was recording that whole time.